Welcome to the first edition of the Rumor Mill and I will talk about the latest rumors in the photography industry when it comes to equipments. I'm Richard and welcome to Zach P Productions and welcome to the first episode of the Rumor Mill. So to start off, I will talk about the latest GFX camera that may come out early next year. According to Fujifilm rumors, there is a new GFX camera coming out early next quarter. Uh, he doesn't know much specs or what it exactly does but the fact that there is a new GFX camera is going to be exciting I don't think it will be a replacement of the GFX 100 I think it will be a replacement for the GFX 50 with maybe a newer autofocusing engine and uh, maybe a newer imaging processor that is faster so that it can does uh, so they can actually do better video recording. Now, either way, it's going to be exciting because a GFX 50 biggest weakness is response, is speed, and of course, it's autofocus. Now, any form of improvement in autofocus is a great welcome to the GFX community. And as I said earlier, you know, if you look at all my reviews for GFX camera, it's not so much of the camera, but it's the lenses. And the lenses are just waiting for a better camera in the lower bracket because the GFX 100 at $10,000 is still mighty expensive. Now, that is pretty much it for Fujifilm rumors and the GFX. The next thing I want to look at is the Canon rumors. If you have followed my live session last Saturday, I did talk about it, but let me talk about it again today. So, there is a rumor lease of lenses that are going to launch in 2021. Uh, there is all the great whites that are ready for the Tokyo Olympics, the 400, 500, 600, 800, 1200 mm. But for most of us, we won't be buying those lenses. So, to most of us, probably the lenses below them are more important and more useful. And to me, the exciting ones are 135, 1. 4, which never happened before and I think that the size of the lens is going to be huge but it will be a great portrait lens that may be the next legendary portrait lens after 200 f2 and then below that there is the 35 1.2 and now that is not a magical lens because Sigma has already launched a 35 1.2 and by looking at the Sigma 35 1.2 you can roughly guess Canon like to make big lenses today so the Canon version may be slightly bigger than the Sigma version who knows but at least it will autofocus very very good on the R5 and then there is one more the TS uh, tilt shift lenses now there is a rumor the rumor on the on that page itself also says that the tilt shift lenses will come with autofocus. I don't think the tilt shift users are that <laughs> concerned with autofocus, but I think it will improve creativity. I mean, maybe they were, somebody will shoot somebody running and tilt shift and make it look like a toy running towards you. I do not know, but maybe somebody is looking at such an effect and it may finally be possible. There are other lenses such as the ultra wide 10 24 f4, which may excite some of you guys. Uh, but for me, I'm looking at the portrait lenses and these are the ones that excite me the most. Uh, you know, if you have any comments or what excites you just write down in the comments below i will take a look and maybe we have a conversation moving on we'll talk about the nikon rumors and in 24 hours time the new zx6 and zx7 cameras the zx6 2 and the zx7 2 will be launching now the zx6 cameras to me were okay i used it before i think they were fine the only issue then was the lens lineup wasn't that exciting the 1.8s were not exciting at all and also the zx6 i felt the autofocus were fast but it just doesn't feel as accurate as the eos r autofocus engine and to mirrorless i think accuracy is very important to me it's just my thought here i mean some people may disagree with me but that's how i feel about it but i think you no know, nikon has done a lot of improvement in firmware and i think the zx6 is coming is becoming a really good camera now the zx6 2 and zx7 2 i i'm thinking that they are there to challenge the r5 and the r6 which is to have really professional grade autofocus really fast really quick and very accurate at least it should be on par with the latest sony cameras and hopefully on par with the r5 which is you know really one of the best af engine you can get out there uh without a doubt i think the nikon hardcore fans will be looking forward to it i mean a better autofocus system a better camera adapted with the old Nikon lens will definitely be a better experience either way. Like how I really love adapting my R5 on... Uh, adapting my R5 with the older Canon lenses and I'm really excited about it. So, you know, the Nikon hardcore fans will probably be equally excited about it and I hope that Nikon did a good job for the z 62 and the z 72 because competition will always bring technology forward and I'm looking forward to it. Now, there's one more rumor that I'll talk about. It's also related to Nikon and that is their rumor Z9. Now, the Z9 is rumored to be technically a A9 with R5 uh, megapixels. That's the easiest way to say. A9 quality in autofocus and speed while we're having a R5 level sensor and therefore outputting really high megapixel photos at high speed. Something the R5 can actually do today but in a more pro body if you ask me. Now, that is important because the D6 when it first came out wasn't that exciting. I hope that Z9 will be the true 
uh, I would say as true flagship camera for the Nikon mirrorless series because as I say again, competition will bring everybody forward. Of course, the other makers are not slowing down. The Canon has the R1 which is also rumoured and in addition to that, Sony also had a rumoured A9 whatever, S, X or R, nobody knows yet but there's also a rumoured A9. All of them will be similarly high megapixel monster that shoot really, really quick. Now, these are all rumours, so we are not very sure, but I think year 2021 with the Tokyo Olympics there and all the rumoured uh, super tallies will come out will be a very exciting year for photographic equipment. And that's about it for today's rumour meal or today's first rumour meal. I'll probably do this every week and if you want to see what are the latest rumours that I see around the net for equipment-wise, just follow me and enjoy this short little review. Other than that, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.